Hey everyone and welcome to another edition of my live tea tasting. Uh, I've got a really exciting one for you uh, for you guys today. It's something that I've never tried before. Um, it's an oolong. Uh, I've done, I think I did an oolong not last week but the week before I want to say. Um, it was the, uh, the, the, the Sin, I want to say this right, Sinsho, Sinshu Oriental Beauty. Sinshu, that, that always, uh, <laughs> that always messes me up. Okay, anyway, hey Miriam, welcome! Uh, I've got another oolong today. Uh, let me get the water started because it's uh, gonna be a really exciting one today. Uh, so, Leanna, welcome! Uh, I'm, I'm starting off this thing right uh, with a little jade oolong. Oh, I gotta get it all in there. Jade oolong. So I'm gonna go ahead and start this. This is kind of sort of uh, on the high end uh, of oolongs. So let's go ahead and ooh, open this up. And I am excited to try this. I've never tried it before, but it smells amazing. Shano, welcome. Yes, it has been, Liana. I don't know where you've been. Actually, I know that you've been around, but you know, I'm just exaggerating a bit. But I'm glad you were able to make it. And oh, wow, that smells great. It's it's a soft, greenish kind of uh, kind of kind of scent to it. It's a uh, aromatic, a little bit perfumey. Oh yeah, it's it's really good tea. Oh, and it's a pretty looking tea too. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like because it's actually uh, this is a, a bit of a tightly wound oolong so this is the bow tie tea uh, kinda sorta yeah I'll, I'll show you guys uh, yeah that should do it oh there we go okay so I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like it's a it, it's okay <laughs> You see, oh, I'm gonna show you guys the size. Oh, I gotta level it out a little bit. But you see, it's about up to here. It's gonna expand. Uh, an oolong. This oolong is uh, pretty wound tight, so uh, you can actually probably get two or three steeps out of this. Um, I'm only gonna do one for tonight, but I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, well, you know what? Instead of showing you what it looks like from the top view. I'm just going to go ahead and pull out one of these and show you from uh, just a single one. Now you can see, look at how tightly wound that is. It's essentially just a ball. It looks like a, a, a bit of a seed and that is done by hand. So what they do is they, they pick the leaves when it's just right and start processing it. Uh, they, processes, ah, blah, blah, they process it to be a um, a dark, I, I like to describe it as a dark green tea, uh, because it's in the middle of the, uh, it, it's in between green and black. So you're going to get um, a nice soft flavor that is uh, not quite one or the other. So you, you won't get the, the very vegetal green flavor that you usually get from green teas, uh, but you don't, you also don't get that earthy uh, black tea flavor. Uh, since it's technically a green tea, uh, I'm going to brew it as such. So I'm going to do this at uh, 180 degrees. And, oh, I don't want to overdo the water. And I'm going to set the clock at three minutes rather than five. So we'll go ahead and put that in there. Kara, welcome! It's been a while since you've been here. You came just in time because I'm doing an oolong, and I know that you're gonna come up with like a thousand puns. And hey, Ma, welcome! And, 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 I'm gonna say it, try not to blush. Happy birthday, Kara. This is Kara's birthday, everybody. Give her a round of applause. One hand, because I'm holding the phone. Yay! <laughs> And I haven't seen you in such oolong time. Ah, <laughs> Teresa, welcome. Everybody's in it for the jokes tonight. <laughs> okay, so uh, this tea is actually from Taiwan. Uh, just like the uh, the the Sinchao Beauty, 
Uh, the Sinshao Oriental Beauty. Um, now this is supposed to be, it's a it's a lightly oxidized oolong, uh, so it's not heavily processed. Uh, it's still uh, it's still finished at the um, at the it's been oolong. <laughs> I see what you did there. Uh, <laughs> it's it's been in the. Um, no, let me put that down for a minute because I'm going to be talking with my hands and I'm going to be like flapping the tea all over the place. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm losing my train of thought. Um, it it starts the process of becoming an oolong where it's... Oh wow, that was fast. Quackhead just like went right off. Didn't even let me finish my explanation. But that's okay because this is going to be a little understeeped. Which is how it should be, since it's uh, since it's a, a delicate oolong. Uh, but it was it was plucked. Um, I mean, sorry, not plucked. It was processed uh, just on the earlier end of becoming an oolong. So it's like just past the green, uh, but quite a quite a while away from uh, becoming a black tea. So uh, there hasn't been a whole much uh, a whole much a whole lot of change. Um, as far as the uh, oolong looks, I'll show you real quick. This is going to be a different, uh, a different leaf, of course, but you'll see right there. It's kind of, it's still tightly wound, so that's why I'm saying you can get about two or three uh, steeps out of this. The longer you leave it in, or, or the more times you steep it, uh, the more it'll open. So what I'm going to do, actually, if I have enough time, I'm going to see, I'm going to see if I can do two steeps out of this. What do you think? You think that'll be a good experiment? I'll uh, do the first steep, and then I'll, I'll drink it as fast as I can, uh, and then I'll do the second steep, um, and hopefully, uh, hopefully I have enough water. You know what? <laughs> I'm going to... Uh, pull out one of my water bottles just in case. Um, I'll let it warm up into room temperature. Uh, yeah, it does look like a scorpion because it's so tightly wound. Um, it, it, when it, when you tighten it up, um, it starts to curve. No, it's too steep. Ah, I gotcha. <laughs> this that that curve that curve is not too steep. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hurry up and uh, get the get the get the tea going, uh, so that I'll have enough time at the end to do a second a second steep. Now check it out. That's a very very light green. Um, it like in the camera it looks a little trans translucent. There we go. So this is going to be um, a bit of a challenge for me because you guys know how I like to savor the flavor and just uh, and, and just take my time with it. Um, I'm going to I'm going I I didn't even plan on doing two uh, two steeps, but I think for the sake of uh, experimentation and the spontaneity of the of, of the stream in general, it's good to be uh, it's good to be flexible. Oh, you know what? I should show you guys what it looks like also. So it's got a very, very yellow uh, tinge to it. It's, it's, not, it's not even green at all. Uh, and that's kind of surprising because um, usually when it's, when it's green, it's got like a, at least a little bit darker. And since it was on its way to becoming a black tea, um, I would have imagined it to be darker than that. But it looks like it's actually got a really nice uh, pale color to it. And the taste, of course. Oh, that's nice. That's lovely. It's very fragrant. Um, it's light grassy, I want to say. Um, not too salty. It's, it's really, really soft. Mm. Oh, that's really nice. Uh, it's got 
like a little bit of an earthy uh, an earthy flavor to it. Um, and there's a certain mouthfeel that it's that's uh, leaving behind. Yeah, I've already got a room. This is my room, <laughs> and you're all invited. Uh, no, this is actually um, it's got a really nice mouthfeel to it. There's like a um, I want to say like a buttery, creamy kind of mouthfeel to it where you feel the texture of the cream uh, but it leaves behind a slightly salty uh, hint of butter uh, still to it it's like the first steep it's it's super duper light um, you can taste I mean it, it, you can taste it for sure um, not to say that it, that you're just drinking hot water. Um, well, yeah, it's it's definitely a special taste. Um, you can taste the. I want to say okay. Uh, let's put it this way: you can taste the tea, but you can also taste the the water. Uh, if that makes sense, like it's not overly saturated. I think that this could have been this could have been steeped at a uh, at a higher temperature, and still maintained the. Uh, the texture yeah kind of like Ali Shan Ali Shan I would say is actually um, a bit stronger at least for the first uh, for the first steep um, by the way Ali Shan I'm going to probably do a stream on that one because I found that one super duper interesting also um, but you know that that's just something to consider later on uh, Ali Shan happens to be a bit expensive too uh, so, yeah, yeah, like the, like the LaCroix of tea. Um, but yeah, Alishan, I, I believe Alishan is like, I want to say 30 bucks, uh, for, for three ounces. Um, so it, it's, it's, it's on the higher end, but it's, it's delicious. Hmm. There's a really, there's a creamy... Um, almost milky kind of taste to it. The more that you, the more you drink it, uh, it's cooling off a little bit. Um, but it's 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 really it's really milky, and I'm I'm loving this. And that's something that I'm going to touch on uh, on later because uh, next week's uh, I already know what I'm doing for next week's stream. Uh, oh, thirty two dollars. You see, I was close. Um, what was I say? Oh yeah, next week's stream is going to be similar to this one. Um, but I'll, I'll get to that at the end. Uh, I'll talk to you guys about it. But yeah, this is very, it's, it's almost milky. It's really creamy. Um, it's got some volume to it, which is really, yeah. Ooh, excuse me. It's really, it's, it's, it's a good, this is a good one. Okay. <clears throat> now this one, um... I, it's it's on the uh, expensive side. The uh, the the regular price is four ounces uh, for for sixteen dollars. Generally, uh, for regular tea, average price is about eight dollars for three ounces. Uh, so we're looking at a little under um, a little under twice as much. Um, I would say maybe one and three quarters, if my math is is uh, accurate at all which it probably isn't um but 18 bucks for four ounces versus uh I'm sorry 16 bucks for four ounces uh as opposed to eight bucks for three i would say it's about one uh, maybe one and uh, three quarters one and a half uh times as much but this is i mean you can taste the quality in it plus it's meant to be uh steeped multiple times so I really you know what I really should have set up two um two teacups I mean uh, sorry two um how much is the sampler the sampler is five dollars uh the sap it's it makes ten cups uh probably twice as much because it's uh it, it's meant to be steeped more than once um I'd say you know what this is probably the kind of tea that I'll bring to work um, only because I can steep it. I usually drink about three, uh, three cups a day, three or four. So this would actually last me all day. 
I wouldn't even need to to uh, to change up and, and wonder what kind of uh, what kind of steep I'll I'll do. Oh, that's really nice. Ooh, I'm loving this. It's it's super duper creamy. Mm, and I'm trying to like try to drink it as fast as I can, but it's. <laughs> I want to savor this. I really, really do. Um, but it's like it's like I'm gonna have to savor this on my own time, you know, because. <laughs> Like I'm really, I, I really wish I could sit down and you know just slow down, and and enjoy it. This is the kind of tea that, I mean, I I paid well for it, um, but by that same token, am I tea am I tea drunk at work all day? Um, that would explain a lot. <laughs> it would explain how I get through my day. I have a dr a, a drinking problem. Um, no, for real. Um, I wouldn't say I'm tea drunk, but uh, because it's all spread out, I usually drink one as soon as I, uh, when I'm alone. <laughs> I, I like that, when I'm alone. Um, that's kind of sad that I'm drinking all alone. Um, no, I usually drink, like, first thing in the, in, in the morning when I wake, uh, when I wake up. When I get to work, uh, I pour myself a cup, I finish it off. Then my first break is at 9.45, so by then I've probably had a second cup and I'm going to clean it out, or I'm just putting on another one. So there's a good two hours, I want to say, uh, in front of it, and then I have my third and or fourth cup after lunch, uh, but usually that's done uh, within quick sequence of each other. Usually it's one, one cup... Um, during during my my update time which is kind of sort of a break after lunch it, it's usually an hour and 45 minutes uh after so that's when i get my my third cup and i'm set for the rest of the day mm. now as it cools down it's 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 still pretty hot but it's since it wasn't steeped at uh, at a very high temperature to begin with, um, I gotta say this is actually it's cooling off pretty well. Um, you're still getting that buttery sensation. Um, oh, I, I have plenty of problems. I'm not going to not going to lie, um, but it's this is the kind of problem I definitely think uh, is is worth it. I don't need the uh, <laughs> I don't need no cure. Mm. I really, I'm really enjoying this because it's not overly powerful like green teas uh, tend to be. This is really, um, it's kind of like a step, a step back from the, um, from the the the, the normal uh, green teas that are usually strong, vegetal, uh, sometimes salty. Uh, you know, when you get like a Japanese green tea, green tea, it's a highly concentrated, super duper green looking leaf, um, and and it comes out really, uh, really salty sometimes. Um, ooh, I got the hiccups. Excuse me. Um, it comes out kind of salty, like like seawater. Um, this is a step away from that. Uh, I'm assuming because it's it's. Uh, wrapped so, uh, oh, excuse me. It's wrapped so tightly um, that it only leaks flavor a little bit at a time. Um, I think that that's like a really good way to uh, conserve the the purity of the flavor uh, and preserve the the honesty of the uh, of the experience because the flavor being released uh, a little bit at a time. You can, you can really analyze it as it progresses. Um, so I'm assuming the next tea, uh, the next steep, is going to be a little bit stronger because uh, the first one loosened up the leaf, but the second one should start to unfurl it. Hopefully, I won't have to do a third tea because 
I mean, a third pot because my bladder can't take it. But um, we'll we'll see how it goes. Here's it. What was it? Here, drink this. It's a step above seawater. Yep, that that's their slogan. <laughs> Oolong, the fresh maker. No, that's not how it works. Mm. And it's really maintaining that buttery, that buttery um, flavor. Like I'm, I'm, I'm really liking it. Generally, like there's a sweet spot uh, in the timing when you have a um, when you have a buttery flavor that you have to drink it hot, and you never want it to get too cold. Otherwise, the buttery uh, the buttery flavor dies down and then you're you're left with like the green saltiness of it um but this one it's it's holding pretty well uh i i have to i have to admit this is actually this is actually doing pretty well and i'm almost done with my first cup uh <laughs> this is this is going a little bit faster than intended but that's fine uh, because i still have another another uh cup to go through well i mean a pot to go through That's right, I absolutely do. Make it with potatoes. Actually, that wouldn't be so bad. Toast? Well, I mean, it does have that breakfast quality. Yeah, I would totally have, have this like a breakfast tea. Um, well, I mean, if it's going to last the entire day, i got to start in the morning anyway. So, let's go ahead and top this off. And in the meantime, I'm going to put the new water in so that... Um, I, I oh yeah, I'm gonna put the new water in and let it start to to boil. Well, it's not gonna boil per se because uh, that implies it's gonna get really hot and bubbly. Uh, you're gonna want to keep this under boiling. Um, so at about 180 degrees, that's the uh, that's the the goal that you're looking for. And I'm pouring this water in. Hopefully it stays. Yeah, I can fit a little bit more. Ah, perfect. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and... Well, you know what? No, I should not start it yet. I'm getting ahead of myself. And I'm like, I got I to gotta slow down. Because I still haven't even finished my cup. See, I'm, I'm excited to, to, to see how this experiment goes. Uh, generally, I don't steep my uh, my tea very very frequently. I do it once and, and I'm done um, because I, I tend to brew it hot. I mean, sorry, not hot. Uh, I tend to brew it strong, so I get that whole sensation. That's right. It's uh, it's, it's it's excitement. Uh, so I get I get a lot of the flavor out of it the first time. Uh, so I don't really need a second steep. Um, but this one this one's kind of teasing me. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to do it. You know, let me put the uh, <clears throat> put the infuser back in. There we go. Oh, ooh, I'm stuffed already. This is gonna be a test of endurance, guys. Ooh, and I'm already sweating. This is not good. <laughs> This, this is it, it sucks doing um, doing the streams in the summer uh, but a dirty joke tea how is it a dirty joke tea uh, but yeah it's like really hot outside you see me sweating and then on top of that I'm drinking tea uh, which is not gonna be uh, it's not gonna be that comfortable for me but the taste is still out of this world. All right, I'm gonna start the new uh, the new water now. Now that I'm mostly done with my second cup, and uh, puns just coming with eat, yeah, <laughs> or better yet, puns just coming with teas. Ah, no, that was <laughs> okay. Okay, I, I I admit that one was pretty bad, and they're only getting worse from here, ladies and gentlemen. 
Yeah, well, my mind is constantly in the gutter, but I'm, I'm keeping it nice. I'm keeping it PG-13 at the very most. Mm. Yeah, this is, this is, it's still, ooh, this is still good. Oh, I, I bet you've had those, uh, a ton of those moments lately. I mean, you have those moments in general, so <laughs> it's no surprise. Oh, but I am, oof, I'm getting filled already. Oh, this is gonna be, this is gonna be a rough one. I was not prepared to make two pots. Uh, but it's not like I was going to prepare much to do two pots anyway. Um, but yeah, <laughs> at least I'll be more prepared for next week. Um, because I'm doing another oolong. Uh, I'm, it's going gonna, it's gonna to compare to this one. <gasps> oh, and I was not, uh, I was not prepared to do two, to do two, <gasps> two pots. Oof. Oof, yeah, it's starting to get to me. I think it's because I'm drinking so fast, and I'm talking, and all that air is, is... I'm swallowing a lot of air. But, you know what? It's a sacrifice I make. Mmm. So it's still... This is still creamy, still buttery. And as it cools down, it's still... Like, it's still... I'm surprised at how, how well it's maintaining... Um, oh, whew, you guys gotta excuse me, I'm kind of like, <laughs> I'm, I'm stuffing myself here. Oh, I need a breather. That's, yeah, that's what I'm doing next week. I'm doing the milk oolong, and that one is, uh, is even more expensive. I believe that one's 30 also, um, if I'm not mistaken. I think it's like 29, um, but yeah, this is gonna be, it's, it's, uh, I haven't had the milk oolong yet, but I it comes highly recommended. So, um, as a matter of fact, you know what? Let me let me finish this off. And uh, oh, the tea, the water is done already. There we go. I I didn't hear it pop, but whatever. So steep number two. I hope you guys remembered what it looks like. There we go. I'll leave it in. I'm setting Quackhead for a second time. There we go. So, yep, looks like it was uh, given away. Milk oolong is going to be uh, next week's next week's tea, um, and it comes highly recommended. So I had to try it. I still have not uh, tasted it yet. Um, but yeah, the three ounce. The three ounce is uh, is thirty dollars, um, and for sixteen ounces, an entire pound of this is a whopping ninety nine dollars. Um, but I mean, this is for for that. It's it's a good uh, it's a good price, because uh, believe it or not, like this stuff is high end. Uh, it's really really good. Uh, but let me go back to the jade oolong for a minute. Um, okay, so I'm gonna. I'm gonna talk to you guys a little bit about the um, about the origins of the tea uh, while while my second steep is going. Uh, now it says it's from the Tung Ting Mountain in uh, Nantu, Nantu County in Taiwan um, and like I, I was talking to you guys last week about um, I, no not last week, the week before was it? I forget when I did the, uh, the Oriental Beauty um, but like I said, like the 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 tea plantations um, that it's picked from in Taiwan are very mountainous, very uh, beautiful, very picturesque, um, and that's where uh, the Sinchao uh, name came from. Uh, it came from what was it? I, I believe it said the beautiful land or something like that. Um, so, essentially, you know, it, it's the tea that it's picked from. Oh. That was fast. Quackhead calls me again. Oh yeah, there is a definite change. You are going to love this. 
there is a huge change. Look at the difference between the first steep and the second. Wow, check that out. It's huge. Like it just completely opened up. The second one. Look at that. That's fascinating. Like the first one just loosened it up a little bit. And the second one just exploded. That is a beautiful looking leaf. So that's why it's the kind of thing that you have to do more than once. Otherwise you won't be able to get the full experience. I really love that. Alright, let me finish off. The uh, Alright, have a good night Miriam. I'll see you on Sunday. Ooh, down the hatch. Okay, so you guys remember what the tea looked like before uh, it was steeped. It was not that, um, it was not that, that tall, I want to say. Now I'm trying to get this right. Well, that should work. Okay, so I'm, I'm holding my tea rag under it. Okay, so you guys remember, it was like close to the, to the bottom. Check this out. It completely blew up. Look at that. It's almost it's it's almost climbing out the top. All of that is filled up. Now you saw how tightly it was um it was uh it was wound how tightly, you know, you only had like that small seed, that small little scorpion shape that fit like in between the lines of my hand. Now look at that. It expanded, it blew up, and it the it unfurled. So the taste is gonna be um, it's gonna be drastically different from the first one, and I'm expecting like a really a really good um, a really good flavor out of it, a stronger one than the, than the last time, because it was like it it completely opened up. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead. And let's see, you know, I'm, I'm curious, the first thing that we'll see is the difference in the color. Uh, it should be more green. I'm, I'm theorizing, but we'll see that in just a moment. Maybe even a little bit more brown, because it is closer to, the, to a black tea now. So, we'll see. Ow, ow, hot. <laughs> there we go. Oh yeah, this is, definite, this is definitely uh, a different color. It looks more green than it was before. Um, you'll see it in just a moment. It's when when it's in the cup. It's gotten. It, there's a definite. Uh, it's definitely darker than it was before. Look at that. Check it out. So when you saw it before, it was more pale yellow. Now there's a stronger, deeper green to it. It looks like it's got a nice, a nice, uh, almost golden uh, uh, tone to it, and it's going to be. I'm really excited about this. You know, this is. I, I I've got to try it. Oh yeah, yeah. This is definitely. There's a huge difference here. Now you get more of the green tea flavor. You get more of the, um, like the vegetal, the, the vegetal taste that was missing before. Uh, instead of butter, it's been replaced. Uh, I don't want to say replaced because it's still, it's still kind of there. Um, but it's a more traditional green tea uh, flavor than it was before. After it opened up, <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. Uh, after it opened up, it released so much more. Now it still it still maintains the uh, the mouth feel, like it's still 
a, a, a nice and creamy kind of uh, flavor to it, but it's it's followed instead of like that that milky buttery taste. Um, you have that cream with a bit of grass, you know, with a little bit of a little a little salty, a little. Um, oof, I'm so hot right now. <laughs> it's a little bit salty, uh, but not overpoweringly overpoweringly so. Um, it's it's maintaining a nice balance in the flavor. I'm thinking that this was a really good investment for me um, because you get at least two uh, steeps out of it. I don't think I would do a third only because the the leaf opened up so much. Actually, you know what? I probably can do a third. Um, if all of the other ones, if like picking up a sample. Okay, you can see that it's not as open. It's still kind of uh, kind of uh, of furled. It's curled up, uh, but it's it has opened up quite a bit. So I'm going to say that you can probably get a third steep out of it, uh, but nothing more than that. I'm not going to do a third steep <laughs> because I will spend I will literally spend the rest of the night in the bathroom. I will have to sleep in the shower <laughs> and just let it fly because yeah, there's no way I'd be running back and forth and, and I wouldn't be comfortable at all all night and I have things to do tomorrow. So yeah, I'm, I'm stopping it at two pots. Mmm. Oh, that's really nice. <clears throat> it's becoming more, um, like I said before, it's becoming more traditional. Uh, you have, it's a, it's still a soft green flavor, um, but it's, it's not salty, it's not, well, okay, uh, no, I take it back, it is, it's, well, no, uh, okay, it's not salty, but it's savory. And you have like a nice, you have notes of dairy in it. It's still like, even though it's refreshed, you're getting that, um, well, let me take a little bit more so I can, so I can uh, organize my thoughts a bit. Now this one, this one I can savor a little bit more. Um, because it's, it's not as, as, it's not as soft as the last one, it's definitely gotten stronger. I'm really enjoying the, um, the texture to it. Like, there are, there are textured teas, um, and this is, this one is, it's, it's leaving like a slightly filmy kind of taste to you, uh, not taste, a kind of texture to it. Um, but it's, it's, how do I put this? It's not like, it's a delicate film, you know, like, uh, what's the word? Like, uh, what's the word? What's that fabric? Uh, like they, they make the babushkas out of, that's the only, that's the only way I know it. It's I, well, I know it is as a babushka, but <laughs> the little the, the little um, little hankies that that like you throw them up and they float down slowly. Uh, it's that kind of a. Uh, whew, I'm sweating. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Just super hot. Um, I don't want to say it's not nylon, but it's along those lines. Uh yeah, it, it's escaping me, but this is something that I am I am thoroughly enjoying. Uh, I'm going to bring this to work. I'm going to nurse it all day, um, and since this is a four ounce bag rather than a three ounce, it's going to last me a long time. Uh, I don't foresee this being um, good as an iced tea. I'm not a big fan of cold green tea. It can be done. 
Um, I have done it before with like cocoa mint, um, and what else? Uh, I've never have I ever done it with jasmine. Uh, what was it you got? Oh, you got me biscuits from Jas from Jackson Heights. Which biscuits are those? The uh, uh, I I I think I know what you're talking about, but those are the uh, the English ones, right? I want to say. There, I, I, I think we we talked about it before. I've got to jog my memory. I got old man brain. Oh, this is so good. Ooh, I'm really loving it. Now, remember what I said before um, about tasting the water? Uh, welcome back. I thought you were leaving for the night. I thought when, when you said you were, you've got to go, I thought you were going for good. <clears throat> but welcome back. Uh oh it's Indian Indian biscuits. Okay, I'll have to give that a shot when uh when I get the chance and I'll probably like see if I can pair it. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oof. I got the hiccups. It's all this talking. Oof. Oh, I lost you guys for a second. Yeah, it was I, I think there was an issue with the uh with the wi-fi hopefully it's gonna behave for the for the next 15 20 minutes we'll see but anyway <laughs> uh what was i um oh god I'm, I'm sweating so bad i gotta i gotta move this fan to face me because oh i am i'm dying here Ugh. there we go and I forgot I left my uh, my watermelon bag next to the fan, so I had to knock it over. Nicole, welcome. Okay, so uh, I'm sorry, Miriam. You said uh, I had to get off the bus and climb for. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so you were watching me while you were going home. Oh, okay, that that makes sense then. Oh, that breeze. Oh, that's that's exactly what I needed. I'm gonna try to keep. The um, I don't know if you guys can hear the fan or the um, yeah early menopause manopause that's what it is um, I don't know if you guys can hear the um, the wind from the fan let me know so I can move um, I don't want it to like be too powerful and and all you hear is <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it right here so far so good just let me know. Mm. Oh man, but this is so good. The caffeine, I should mention that. Uh, this shouldn't be too caffeinated. Um, it's got a moderate level of, uh, of caffeine. Yeah, so it's going to be about midway. Uh, it's not going to be too, um, too overpowering. What's, what's noticeable? The, uh, the, the wind? I hope it's not too, uh, I hope it's not like two hurricanes strong so that uh, you can't hear me oh but I need it on me right now I'm like oh, you guys <clears throat> I'm like two seconds away from taking my shirt off and you guys don't want to see that I want you guys to be able to eat in the morning so I think uh, <laughs> I think the trade off is better if I keep my shirt on but the, the fan pointed towards me I'm just glad that this is not a chai because I would totally be dead right now if it was oh my god starting to slow down <laughs> strip tease ah, I see what you did there <laughs> uh, I forgot what I was gonna say uh, no okay I I'm switching I'm getting another, okay, yeah, I, I'm getting some Wi-Fi issues, again, so I'm turning off the Wi-Fi, I'm sticking to my data plan, um, for the rest of this, for the rest of the stream, because this is getting, it's getting out of hand, and I do not want to risk losing you guys again, but, whew. oh my god, this is so hot. <laughs> Mm. 
Mm. Oh my god. I am I'm getting stuffed. I'm getting hot. But I'm still like I, I'm I'm getting slightly uncomfortable but nice and relaxed. Like this is it's it's a very odd sensation. Because every bit of me is like it's like you're sticky, you should not be feeling this. Uh, would it be good iced? Um uh, I mentioned it before. I don't believe it would be good iced. I wouldn't do it. Yeah, that's exactly me right now, but without the without the cat ears. Um, I mean, it all depends on whether or not you like uh, green tea uh, iced. I think that this one, I wouldn't personally ice it, but if you like green tea, it's not a very strong green tea flavor, so uh, I would not have as big of a problem icing this uh, as I would, let's say, gunpowder. Gunpowder is, is a pretty uh, heavy green tea taste, so if you're going to ice it, you're going to want to heavily um, sweeten it too. Because, ooh, excuse me. <gasps> because when you cool it down, you're going to taste a lot of the, um, a lot of the water. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I mean, not a lot of the water, a lot of the salt. Um, because when things are colder, uh, you get to taste more of it, and it's just not gonna, it's just not gonna be, uh, a regular tea that you'd want to, that you want to ice. So I had to finish that thought there before I drank. Mm. And I just realized... You might notice something uh, behind me has changed. All of this, all the uh, drawings, all the stuff that uh, Anna had done, I had to. I, I took it down because, per her request, she wanted me to take it down. And her exact words were, "You had it. I, I gave it to you when I was a baby, uh, and you only kept it there because uh, I didn't know what I was doing." That was not true. I told her they were very beautiful paintings, and I love them all, but she made me take them down, and she replaced it with something very special. I'm going to show you guys. Quick shout-out. She made me a cheeseburger. Anna made me a cheeseburger, and it's good. How awesome is that? I have the best goddaughter ever. She knows what I like. And I likes me some cheeseburgers. <laughs> so I didn't tell her to draw me one. She just she just did. So that was that was something that uh, I particularly enjoyed. Mm. Good burger. She really is. She has her moments. She also, like, later on that day demanded that we have a tea party. But I was like, I don't have... <laughs> I wasn't prepared. She wanted to get all dressed up and look cute. And I'm like, it's too hot to put on a suit. But, yeah, it, it didn't happen. We'll, we'll have another one later. But I'm going to go ahead and top this off. Ooh, I got... Ooh, almost half a cup. Not even a full half. Is there such thing as a full half? I don't know. Whew. Jose, welcome. You see what happens when I talk about uh, Anna? You just appear. <laughs> I just showed off the, uh, the drawing that she made for me. Mm. Whew, okay. I'm starting to slow down a little bit. I was drinking, oh, at quite a fast pace, and it's all starting to to, to settle. Oh, I, I I really am like ready to burst. <laughs> Apparently so. Your ears were ringing, and I'm like, yeah, that's probably why. You're like, I'm not what? Where is she? <laughs> No, don't worry, she's not down here this time. 
demanding a tea party. <laughs> oh, I have created a monster. But, oh well. Gotta love her. Oh, anyway, I'm gonna take a moment to not drink because... Oh, I, I, it's, I'm feeling it. Like, I have, I have, I've drank three pots of tea before, and I survived, but this one, um, oh, she's actually cleaning her room for once, that's good. <laughs> she's, she's actually doing what she's told. Uh, but anyway, yeah, like, green tea is meant to, like, suppress your appetite. Um, that's why it makes a great dietary supplement, because not only does it clean you out, uh, but it also suppresses your appetite, um, and it fills you up, and I'm experiencing that right now. It's not, like, full-on green tea uh, filling, but it's enough to, like, make you want to, to stop and, and take a breather. Um, and then, like, realize that the end of the world is nigh, because <laughs> you have so much tea in your body that you're just gonna eventually drown in it. But, that was kind of bleak. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm only speaking figuratively, not literally. Uh, would this go well in a smoothie? Probably not. Um, only because... You, you the the way that you that you release the flavor in this particular tea is because it's wound so tight um, that you would have to steep it in order to open it up to get the flavor. If you were to grind it up, you might as well just use matcha. Um, would it go? If it would go well next to a smoothie, I would say depending on if it was hot or cold. I wouldn't recommend it hot and having a cold smoothie, but um, I think that the flavors the flavors might go well depending on what you put in it. Uh, and yep, I'm absolutely going to be peeing all night. I'm gonna, I was talking about sleeping in the shower. Uh, that, might, that might have to be the only logical... Um, you mean as... Oh, as a liquid in the smoothie? You mean like brewing it uh, and 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 using it as a base and then adding the fruits to it. Um, if you were, I would stick with like with sweet fruits. Like the sweet and the salty. Um, I thought about maybe doing um, citrus fruits, but that might that might clash with the salt a little too much and I don't want to I wouldn't want to risk it. Uh, but I, I think that the, that the salty and the sweet would go well, uh, because it's still maintaining that buttery, uh, that, that buttery, that buttery flavor. Oh, okay, I think I'm good. I'm gonna keep going, like the trooper I am. I have about a quarter of the cup left. Uh, so I'm gonna open up the floor, go ahead, and, uh, ask me any questions, any comments, anything you want to talk about. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Go ahead and uh, throw it at me. Mm. I am awesome. I'm feeling it. I'm like, this is, this is really good. Uh, Teresa, I don't know where you are. You probably left. But um, yeah, I know your question, what kind of dessert would this go with? Um, I would say, you know, I'm going to go, out, uh, I'm going to go out uh, on a little bit of a, of a limb here and say vanilla ice cream. Oh, there you are. You just got quiet. Uh, I'm going to say vanilla ice cream, uh, only because you have that kind of, um, like a, like, you know how, how you have buttery ice creams, like butter pecan, butter almond and stuff like that. You have that kind of milky buttery flavor to it. Um, and if you were to have like an ice cream to pair along with it, uh, I think it would go very well. I wouldn't, I wouldn't change the vanilla ice cream too much. Like I would add maybe some nuts, maybe chocolate chips, something like that. Um, but 
I don't think I would I would try like a like a chocolate ice cream with it. If I were to pick a cookie, um I would have to say I would have to say like the the, the, the biscuits, the buttery the buttery biscuits. I know I, I go that's like my go to when I have a savory uh, a savory uh, tea like this. Uh, but I think that the that, that it would really complement it well. Um, maybe a pound cake. I think a pound cake, I, 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 yeah, a pound cake would definitely go well with this. Um, cause the, it, it, the butter would match the butter. I, maybe, I'd even venture to say like a lemon cake. Like as long as the lemon isn't too strong, you have like, uh, enough of the cake behind it to really, really give it a good, um, a good base. I think yeah, I, I think a lemon cake might uh, might do well. Oof. Oh my god! <laughs> like I'm feeling it. I think after this, I'm gonna jump in the shower and then go right to bed because I am. It, this is this is like it's taking it out on me. As caffeinated as this is. The caffeine is not helping me one bit. I'm very relaxed. I'm very satiated. Uh, I'm feeling really mellow. Uh, so this is this is this is actually perfect for me right now. Um, after a long day at work, it's really starting to um, it's really starting to like mellow me out. So, yeah, I highly recommend it. We need another sip. Oh, man, this is awesome. <sighs> okay. You guys, have, I'm going to open the floor uh, again. I'm going to go ahead, though, and announce next week's... Uh, next week's uh, tea which is going to be an awesome one Oof. milk oolong I know it's not a surprise anymore it, I don't even think it was supposed to be a surprise but yeah milk oolong is going to be like uh, <laughs> it is deadly delicious if I don't make it till next week you'll know what happened to me oh excuse me but milk milk oolong is the next tier to this. That's kind of why I did it this way. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I got the hiccups. <sighs> okay. Fight it down, fight it down. Okay, there we go. Anyway, so that, that's why I picked uh, Jade Oolong first. Uh, because I want to start at the at the well, I don't want to say at the bottom quality because this is actually a really good quality tea, uh, but I want to do like a higher quality and then go up from there. So, why is it called milk oolong? Um, I'm I already I do know the answer to that, but I think that's something that I should cover next week. Um, I you I think you have smelled the milk oolong when we went to uh when we went to adagio um i believe that was one of the ones that was uh that i pulled that i pulled out for you but yeah if if you don't know by then <laughs> you'll have to get reminded uh but yeah it was a painful hiccups in yeah that's it's 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 stuck but it's gone now i'm relieved all as well <laughs> oh, but yeah, next week I want to do the milk oolong, um, and the week, you know what, let me check real quick, before I say my next statement, uh, okay, yeah, so we got milk oolong next week, I'm gonna try to do my, um, I'm gonna try to do my, uh, my Earl Grey, for the 25th and then starting the 1st of September 
I'm gonna do a. Um, you guys are already voting, which I'm I'm grateful for. Uh, but I'm gonna do the. Um, I'm gonna do the uh, the fandom. So you guys, the polls are going to be open until at least. Uh, blah, 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 blah. You know what? Let's do it until the 25th. Because I'm going to need some time to to get it ordered. You know what? No, no, no. Scratch that. Let's keep the poll open until the 17th or the 18th. I'll announce the winner on the 17th, and then I'll have to order the uh, the tea so that it all comes in time. When's chai season? Oh, chai season is coming soon it'll be in the fall so i'd say maybe mid-october on uh as long as it's cold it's chai season that's my motto and that's when you're gonna start stocking up i'm sure mm. okay i have one more cup i mean no one more cup i have one more sip until i'm done so, you guys, last call, any questions, comments, anything you want to talk about, let me know. Um, I've already made my announcements, so I'm good to go. The ball is in your court. Uh, Mid-October is pumpkin chai. Yeah. Pumpkin spice chai. That's going to be a good one. Um... Nicole, if you're going to watch this later, she's singing your tune. Uh, and that's right, I'll never be cold. Like, that's... Uh, I literally drink chai all the time in my room whenever it's, like, really cold. And it heats me right up. It's... 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 Some good stuff. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Thank you guys once again for joining me. I love it when you keep me occupied and you keep me going... Um, I'm going to go ahead and wrap things up. Have a great night. See you next week with a milky, with the milk oolong. And that's going to be something that I'm going to savor. And I'll be more prepared with two pots. Just going to switch one to the, uh, one to the other. I'll be more prepared. I promise. Have a good night. Have a great weekend. And I'll see you later. Bye.